Hi, this is Ian Nicholson from the Sydney Short Film School, and I'm going to show you very quickly just how we go about syncing our original footage from our camera with the audio from our uh, recorders uh, used in the filming. So here I've got uh, a bin called Original Footage, which is containing uh, well, what here is uh, AMA linked uh, video files here from the camera. So what this link symbol means is that uh, I've not transcoded the, uh, the footage, it's just purely linked back to the original files on the disk, that's a feature within Avid. Uh, ordinarily I would transcode these into a native Avid format for editing, um, but uh, and once I've done that and, and transcoded them I would then move the uh, AMA linked files into this bin here out of the way. But um, on this occasion, I'm just going to link the, uh, the, the audio with the footage. You can see here the audio is uh, just linked as well. Um, so just to quickly give you a, a guided tour of the bins I've set up here. So I've got my original footage here from the camera. I've got the audio here from the recorder. I've got a bin here called Syncing. Uh, so here's my bins list here, by the way. So uh, I've got a bin here called Syncing, where I'm just going to drop the pairs of files that I'm going to sync at any one time. Uh, I've got my final sync, so this is where I, I drop the, 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 the final result. And processed is where I drop the uh, processed files at the end when I don't need them anymore. Uh, and I've got a, a bin over here called CRF, which stands for Cutting Room Floor, which is uh, uh, just my way of uh, a little bit of humour there, um, just to drop the unused uh, materials or outtakes out of the way there. Never delete anything. Uh, or he's just moving out of the way somewhere. So, so they're, they're, they're my files I've, I've got. Uh, sorry, I say files, they're bins. Actually, they're folders. Uh, it's, you know, um, on, on the PC, uh, the term bin is an overhang from the days of when in the edit room, uh, rolls of film would be put into literally bins, um, which had uh, labels on the side showing which scene or, or part of the film that they were uh, relative to uh, just for the uh, for the editor to work with those big rolls of film. Um, so uh, bins, folders, it's the same thing. Right, so let's, let's uh, get started. So I'm going to take uh, this footage file here and I'm going to take this audio file. Now how do I know I'm getting the right ones? Well because what I've done, I've got them all sorted in order uh, by file name and of course, the camera increments uh, the file name by one each take, and so does the recorder. So, uh, so just double check that. So, if I click on the on the video, so I can see here, I've got uh, scene two, take six. And if I scrub through uh, that bit of footage, so there's the clap. So, let me just uh, back up a little bit, frame by frame, of just scrubbing through. And I'll just take the loudest one there, it's about there. So I'd now mark that in, which I can do by pressing I on the keyboard, which is common in most edit programs. Uh, I'm just going to uh, click here on the mouse. So it's put the in point there where the clap, uh, yeah, the, the sticks are connecting on the, on the clapperboard. And now I'm going to do the same thing basically for the audio file. Now you probably won't hear this very well, but uh, let's, uh, I'll just play through. So that's indeed scene two, take six as well. So I'm just going to scrub through the audio until I hear the loudest part of the clap. Now the clap could actually extend over one, two or three frames. Uh, so I generally tend to pick the, the, the one that's the, the loudest uh, or the clearest or the one that sounds closest to the one that's on the on the audio actually on, on the on the video footage I should say because the uh, the camera is actually recording the sound as well now actually that leads to another point because the camera uh, is also recording sound albeit through a little microphone in the camera which is not giving you the highest quality it's usually be, uh, good enough to pick up the click uh, of the of the, the clap from the clapperboard um, so if you've got an edit suite that can display the audio as a as a, a waveform then you could also align the waveforms between your uh, audio and your footage on the timeline um, 
just to have it does this uh, in, a, in a slightly easier way if you can call it that but anyway so now I've got uh, my in points marks on both my pieces so, so I'm just going to now select both of those files and in Avid I just select the bin uh, function list and now I'm just going to select auto sync and the choice I have is uh, I've got a few things there but there it is already highlighted so uh, it's asking do I want to sync on the in points which of course I do now just watch here when I click on OK, so I click on OK, and as you can see, it's now created an extra file, which is my video with my audio uh, synced with it. So, and here we are. So if I just jump into halfway through the scene. So I can see that's, that's actually nicely synced. So now just to finish off the job, I'm just going to move the synced um, file down into this bin and I'm going to move the processed files into this bin here called processed so they're out of the way and then I just take the next two and do that all over again so let's just do that very quickly so let's uh, let's look at the video first so I've got uh, scene two take seven let's have a look so there's the clap so let's just uh, there we go, nice clap there, marks it in, and same with the audio, so looking for scene two, take seven, so it's probably a few seconds in, it's, uh, so I can scrub through, so there it is roughly there, there it is, so, there's the loudest part of the clap there, so now I'm just going to select them both, go to bin, Auto sync, marking on endpoints, click OK, and there's my new file. And again, just double check. So there we go, nicely synced. So finish off the job, move the folder into the final synced, pick the two files and move them into processed. And that's how we sync audio and video in Avid Media Composer. Thanks for watching.